Oh, look at that white smokestack. <sighs> so close that's definitely it okay i don't know if you can see in the video but Once straight ahead on. right down that first lane that white stick at the end we feel like that might be the rocket at spacex that we're going to yeah, see like, we didn't think we could see it from here but apparently we maybe can yeah that's that's gotta be it it's pretty cool this is the college that we both went to which is right down the street from spacex and we never got to look at this rocket driving to school every single day it's a shame I did get to see the space shuttle fly over us one time though. Right on this corner, right over here. I was standing right there and the space shuttle flew over our heads. Now there's a spaceship straight down the street, rocket, That's whatever. So crazy. How many people do you think have no idea what that is? a perfect time shot. <laughs> I love just contrasting stuff like that, right. like one technology with another, side by side. Falcon 9. Oh, nice. We're gonna be the only car right here. Are we, are we screwed? Is that like the worst possible It's really not good. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Okay, we're outside a little place called SpaceX. I don't know if you've heard of it. They, they build rockets and they put them in space and they bring them back to Earth and land them again. It's kind of amazing. We made it, that's the SpaceX rocket, Falcon 9. Not 100% on when it flew, but that thing went to space and back. One of the one of the first ones, I think, and now they've got it on permanent display in Hawthorne, in so California, cool. like 20 minutes. Yeah, which only pretty... only 10 minutes until we can actually see the thing. Yeah, which, that, which is crazy. Now I wanna see how far we can see it from. What's even crazier is like the heavy, I think is, it, is maybe a little bit bigger than that. And then Starship is like twice as big, if not bigger than that. In terms of weight, height. you're saying? Height. height. Oh god, like wow. actual height. Really? And then that other concept one puts like, I don't know, four or five times as big as that. Like, so heavy is what takes like the, the payloads and stuff, right? No, this takes payloads. It does? Yeah. They heavy is the three rockets. Those, right? Heavy is three of them. Okay. Which is insane. Um, but I mean, even like the engine. It actually, they don't look like they'd be able to send the thing straight up into space, you know? It's insane how much uh, force that it uses. I want to see one fly now. I think that's, that's what we That'll got be the next, the next space goal. Yeah. Maybe not. We can I'm, see a space movie. Yeah. Yes, we should do that first. Let's go see Ad Astra. Yeah? Yeah. Let's make that decision right now. Okay. I, have a, I actually have a ticket already. What? Oh wait, is that what I got? I think. No, what we're gonna do is go get some beer. Space yeah. beer. Space beer from space. Made in space. Yeah. Like, they shoot it up on this. I meant to bring astronaut the, ice cream. That would be cool. I've had that in a long time. Yeah. In the California Science Center. Which is the next place I want to go actually once they have Have you seen the space shuttle? Uh, flat, but I'm waiting okay. for the full. It'll be the only I'm actually constructed space shuttle in the world. With the rocket boosters and the big orange boosters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Fully vertical. Like, I don't even know how many stories this thing is going to be. Yeah. I'm so excited for that. I really want to go back there. That was so a long time. To see it, so. Let's go get some beer. Celebrate this rocket that we have.
Welcome to the first ever episode of, uh, I don't know what it's going to be called, Rebels React? Rebels React. Rebel, Rebels React? Rebels. Re Re Rebel React? No, it's, it's Rebel. We're not reviewing, we're reacting. Rebels React. Because it's right after. Yeah, we'll have two. Oh, I was going to tell you we should have a Rebels Reacts and a Rebels Reviews. Two different ones. This is Rebels Reacts, also known as Rebels Doesn't React, because there's nothing to react to. Yeah, so, this is, uh... We just saw To the Stars. Why does this keep changing? We just saw To the Stars. I, I, that was my favorite part. The beginning? Yeah. The, yeah. The text at the beginning? Yeah. Um, so, okay. Ad Astra you is start. what we saw. Because I, I have, I have... I've been looking forward to this movie for a very long time. Ever since I saw the title in IMDb in the upcoming movies list, I was like, yes. Give it to me. I, I love, I love the, the Latin. I love space exploration. I love Brad Pitt. I was excited about all of it. And even the trailer kind of was, it, sorry I, about the camera. It kept me intrigued. It really did. Even I, though I was starting to, sorry. yeah, uh, yeah, no. No, I had no expectations. I, this wasn't a, like, I forgot it was even coming out. So that, that's a different, like, I didn't realize you were waiting for this for like, and hyped for it. A very long time. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I, I was down because it was Brad Pitt in space. I love space movies. Right. My favorite one. So that's what I, all I was thinking about was like, where does, I mean, I know where this goes, but where does everything else go? And I think like, I loved Interstellar, like so much from day one. I loved that movie. I liked Interstellar. Yeah. I saw it before it came out. Oh, I got, I was invited to some like weird pre-screening of it or something. That's cool. So I saw it a very long time ago. I barely remember it. I was I, thinking about it a lot during this movie. I, yeah. And I'm like, same. I'm not sure who... What was there another movie you were thinking about while watching this? I've one? never seen Gravity. Okay, but I only heard negative things about it. I've seen Gravity. It is very Gravity, um, because it's not based. It's not realistic. That's what I've heard about Gravity. Right. All the drama is not anything that would actually happen. The only other movie that I was reminded of during this one that I felt like this one was trying to be the new modern version of 2001? was 2001. Yeah, I got some 2001 vibes, and that was actually the. <laughs> That was actually the part of the movie that I liked. I liked the 2001 vibes, but when it tried to be something else, it didn't work. James Gray is not Kubrick, and that's the difference. I don't even because know who James Gray is. I don't either, but so like, so, okay. So real quick, what I liked about this movie was seeing sci-fi stuff realized. So stuff that I think about, like... A space elevator it opened with a space elevator that's still conceptual only we don't know if we're if it's even yes. possible to build one of those yes so that aspect of it seeing a moon base what that would look I like i love the the futuristic like commercial space traveling yeah like that kind of, i i was i was very engaged in all of that the applebee's on the moon now that i don't buy that i think delegitimized it actually because applebee's isn't even good here they couldn't afford to be on the moon. I know what you mean. So, to me... Like, would Starbucks have made more sense? Yes. There was a Hudson News. Did you see the Hudson News? Probably not. I don't think so. So, when they did the second shot, there was a Hudson News. And, and I loved that one. I was like, that's funny. Yeah. But, but again, I'm like, that's funny. Not, oh, whoa. That would be there. Right. Hudson News... Is what's in every single airport in America. Right. Every single airport. Okay. Is the little newsstand where you can buy some snacks. And is it meant to be like an airport newspaper? It's not a newspaper. It Hudson News is what they call the little shop where you can buy magazines and oh. snacks and stuff in every airport. Gotcha. Okay. And I was like, so that makes sense that they have one sure. of those. Yeah, I, um, I like that. Warning, we're probably going to get into spoilers at some point, so... If you don't want to know, click away if you need to. But we will talk about it's okay. whatever we want to talk about. It's okay. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just saying. If, if you, no, I'm telling if you them don't want... it's okay to listen. You don't want to go see this. I would I would say don't go watch this. So I didn't, it's not I didn't know what the story was going to be about. Turns out I kind of knew most of what the story was about. Yeah, He's they... looking for his dad. That's about it. It's it's really about him. That so and sure and yeah. That's what I was waiting for at the end because I was like, "What is this?" For ninety nine percent of the movie, I was like, "What is the point of this?" And it takes until the last five seconds for you to understand what the point of it is. 
that that's another thing. The very beginning when you said it says to the stars and yeah. the last five seconds yep. are my favorite parts of the movie. Yep. Everything in between is just doesn't painful. matter. No. It's supposed to show you his journey, I suppose. I don't feel like he changes at all. He doesn't grow. He's the same from beginning to end, except I guess he realizes he needs to pay more attention to other people. Yes. Which is a lesson he learns from meeting it, it his dad for the last time. He was emotionless. True. And, and disconnected from disconnected reality. from everything. Yeah. And and I actually like the premise. Which they only gave for like two seconds. Are we are we just open open season here? Yeah. Um the whole like, no, you didn't fail. You confirmed that right. it's just us. That was a cool that was a cool moment. Right. Hi. That was a cool that was a cool moment. But when there's nothing else in an, in an, in that slow long of a movie, it doesn't matter. Right. It just doesn't matter. I kept honestly at that point, I kept waiting for aliens. No, I knew there was. I I, I just it was so blah and nothing that I'm like, are they gonna give us just a little taste that's of something? Why, that's why 2001. Is, I prefer it because it gives aliens. I think I do too. Honestly, but at the same time, this is more realistic. This is the most realistic space movie I've seen. I, I, I will say I loved Neptune. Yes. Neptune was awesome. Seeing that was like a holy sh I've moment. never seen a movie take place around Neptune before. And, like, and obviously. <laughs> it was more just like imagining that that's out there. Yeah. And how far they are and that they were there. The special effects were on point. Like, they were great. It wasn't a very aesthetically pleasing movie like it was very grainy and yes. just sort of they went for that it, it, yeah and it was definitely a choice and I it was get, kind of I blurry and I was just like so I was actually kind of anxious for the first half of the movie and it wasn't even because I was worried something was going to happen I had this like sense of dread I don't know how to well, explain it. Well, I mean, it, it starts with a catastrophe, which I wasn't ready for. I knew that that whole thing with, like, the surge and him falling was coming because it's in the trailer. I, I didn't realize it was the first 30, first 30 seconds of the movie. And it was... It was weird. So bizarre. I, like... It was like... I did. I think the, the, the anxious feeling was, like, I didn't know what to grab onto. I felt like I was floating in space the whole time. Yeah. I Very unsettling. And the whole, the whole rover scene on the moon... So weird. And it, and, and, it, it and, was, and it didn't pay off. It's a commentary on mankind. He's like, we're just still fighting for resources right. on the moon. But based on the rest of the movie, there was not a resource issue. There was no global, like, conflict. They don't set that up. They don't pay it off. They don't really tell you who it, that even was. Yeah. Like, just give me something to, like, digest with that whole thing. But it was just faceless... Yeah. Suits yep. shooting at them. That's caused everyone else but the two most important people to die, of course. I and then were they cause that made me think they weren't trying to kill them. But they were? Were they trying to stop the mission? Did they know what the mission was or were they just pirates out there effing around? I think they were just pirates. That are just on the moon and we can't protect against that when we have VIP Right. Yeah, you would think like you'd, you'd like, know like a window when it's safe to go or something, but just like, nah, just go now. You'll be alright. The entire Mars sequence was horrible. Like, why was there an under weirdly underground and then there was just a German Shepherd? Super weird. Yeah. Didn't get that. I hated everyone on Mars. Everyone was so just And I think I think like Everyone on Mars could have been played by um um <sighs> the guy from Thirty Seconds to Mars. Jared no. Leto? Yeah. Everyone could have been played by him. I I feel like it was an overly artsy movie, and, like, there's some meaning in there. Like, so the only thing I can grasp at is they were trying to point out how we're not supposed to be out there. That That is the only thing I can take away from this movie, is that it was trying to say, we're, that's how I feel, is we're not supposed to be doing all of this, and we are not supposed to be out there, and we are supposed to, so to make everything else bad. Pretty much everything past Earth felt very ungrounded. And I, and I think that was, maybe that was the intention. Yeah. I have to say, my whole life, I have, I, like, we literally went to SpaceX today. Like, I'm obsessed with that stuff. Yeah. I'm less obsessed in the moment right now. I, I hope and I feel like that's temporary, but... 
I, I think so too. Like it was, that was because that's a movie's take on the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a very depressing take on the future. I want to know how far into the future this is. That was the other thing I kept thinking. I was like, this seems recent enough that Alp Applebee's has the same logo. Same logo. Yet far enough that we can now create a space elevator and have a fully established base on the moon and on Mars. That's going to take at least 50 to 100 years. But Brad Pitt's dad seemed like he was born in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah, so all of that timeline stuff was very confusing too. Yeah. Um Do you hate this movie? No. I did have a feeling of I want this to end and I want out of here. I didn't quite feel that. I didn't want it to end. I just wanted to finally get to what it was leading to. And, I it, was, ne and it never I, got there. I was like, I, I'm, I'm over this. It never I got to this, anything. I need this to be done. Like, Honestly, what I could have ha used a lot more of was Liv Tyler. <laughs> and she was not She was I, in I, it for I, two I, minutes. I that's who she was. I, the name came to me, but... <sighs> um. Yeah, I'm definitely let down. Yeah. Out of, out of ten, what would you give it? I, I, five. Oh, that's only because that was what popped into my head in the theater. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not, I don't want to review it. I want to sleep on it. And Honestly, talk about it tomorrow. My my initial was seven, just because I I did like Brad Pitt a lot, and I liked the space stuff. I liked Neptune. Like that was all very cool. It might drop down to a six. I'm not sure. I'm I'm five six range because I, movies definitely adjust in the like weeks. Well, I guess sleep After you on see it. it, yeah. So, but the, like, I will never watch that again. No. Um, I was hoping it would be something I'd watch seeing, over and over. Again. After seeing two great movies, yeah, it made it even more apparent that that was not great. Yes. The most recent being <laughs> one that Brad Pitt was also in. I got I got nothing for that. Like, I feel empty. It's a very hollow movie. Yeah. Very like I I think I'm sticking five. I don't need to give it more than that. Yeah, that's not like like it earned five points. Yeah, you start at zero and work your way up. Yeah, that's not just like I, I think feel I, like I feel like some people <laughs> consider five a zero. It is hard. Like I, I that's find a bad it, movie. I'll I'll give it five. I, I find it hard to grade lower than five usually, honestly, unless I just see something that's utter trash and I'll yeah. give it like a two. But honestly, I think I do start at 10 and then work down. No, I, I'm working up from 0 to 5. Yeah. I'm like, I'll give it that. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. There's nothing putting it above that for me. Some movies I will start at 10 and go backwards. Right. Not this one. Right. Because I've got nothing to go off. Right. So I'm starting off of a 0. And I'm like, uh, that. That was cool. Uh, that. Whereas, like, another movie, I'd be like, oh, my God. You're gone. Another movie, I would be like, oh my god, that was amazing. Well, I guess that wasn't a little, so I take that away, and then... But I'm the opposite with this one. Yeah. I haven't felt like that in a movie in a long time. <sighs> well, I think that's... And why did they attack him? Oh, dude, that was so dumb. They're all... They all the, killed themselves. The dumbest humans. And, but I'm... But I'm, So, what I... So, either they knew the whole time... That what? Or they briefed them after they landed on Mars... Because they were being all friendly and everything. But I'm wondering if, like, the way that some of those angles and looks they gave them... There were a lot of, like, eyes where you're like, wait, what? what is... There's an undertone here. Like, look. I mean, I never trusted the captain that when that, were, that died randomly to the monkeys. When they were in the hallway. When he passed them in the hallway, and the three of them, and he was like, hey! And they didn't even look at him. Were just... They were, like, robots. When? When they, when they were... they in, On Mars, underground, and they crossed paths. It was the three people from the ship that he was on the asian guy the black girl and the other white guy he was walking with the military guy and um he he, I do he not said something to them and they just didn't even acknowledge him. i do not remember that honestly i yeah. might have fallen asleep for a couple of seconds <laughs> straight up it's very possible yeah and i was like that was right after they uh he received the message and they were, like, getting him the hell out of there. And then he passed them in the hallway. They were initiating whatever the next step, steps were. So I don't know if they were just briefed and they were like, that guy is... Or they already knew that and were faking it. Right. And that's why when he showed back up, they are like, all right, time to kill this guy. We are, like, we're not like, oh, well, I don't know what to do. Let's kill him. It was like they already 
knew that that would be my only guess as to why they were so prepared to and then her face went into the thing and but exploded. that's the thing like do, are they not trained astronauts she would have known maybe now is not the best time to be out of my seat yeah it didn't make sense it was really weird and why did she fly but nobody else did don't know he would have flown backwards too brad and but maybe because he was holding on really hard is that what he was like what I mean, I, I'm always for, like, giving a little leeway in movies. Yeah. I, I, one thing I couldn't quite get over was if he's jumping through the asteroid belt, wouldn't him hitting all those things be, like, slowing him down and stopping him? So, first of all... No, Whether that's possible or no not. No <laughs> rocks are that close together. That's not a thing that exists as right. far as I know. Right. It's a misconception. The whole, like, Star Wars... Dry, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Through an asteroid yeah. field. They're, like, miles apart. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't get close to two asteroids. Right. Um, I don't know if that's the case with Neptune, too. But again, it's a movie, so that's fine. Um, right, though? I mean, just... Physics and so, was so they did so so the whole thing was it was an antimatter thing that we humans caused because it was part of their ship that they took out there and it and the crew screwed it up and that's what caused the antimatter malfunction. I think so. That's but they didn't explain that. No. So I still don't really get what the surges were. I think that, I think it was an antimatter thing. Was it intentional though or accidental? Uh, but what what were the surges? That may have been from the mutiny, but I don't know. But this has been the first episode of Rebels React yeah. at, to Ad Astra. Uh, I'm, I'm underwhelmed. Very underwhelmed. And disappointed. I'm not even whelmed, I'm underwhelmed. Yeah. But thank you for watching. We will do more of these soon. They'll be better. Probably many, many space movies. At least one more this year. Indeed. So, that one will be good. like and subscribe and stick around for more. Nice.